songs people used to sing, but they did at Anfield, like, you know. I mean, people seem to shout now. <laughs> you know, out of tune. Upsets me as a musician, that, like, you know. But um, the songs, I mean, I used to spend half my time watching the crowd. I can remember my dad, you know. Because I'd just be in awe of it, like, you know. And it was probably the 70s there, like, so you're talking loads of denim, loads of hair bear bunch, kind of, you know what I mean? Like, all kind of emblems and badges and scarves around the wrist. And the team, you know, Shankly. And all that, Kevin Keegan and Toshak. Stevie, I, we're on the wing. We had dreams and songs to sing. I'm still singing that song. I mean, Keegan was a bit of a kind of, a lot of people diss him now at Liverpool because they think he, he, whatever, I don't know what, but I think he was an integral part of, you know, very important and, and one of the first sort of kind of star players, you know. Uh, I thought he was great. But when he went to Hamburg, he was quite a bit gut-wrenching. And Dalglish came. Dalglish. From Celtic. For 440,000, I think it was, something like that. And, um, you know, he became... I would say, I wonder whether Dalglish is probably the greatest player that's ever played. I mean, he, you know, he is just... He was phenomenal in his... It's back to the goal, like, shielding the ball, skill and intelligence. I met that, uh, Kenny because we sung the, the Hillsborough Memorial song and uh, some, of the, some of the players were singing on the chorus, like, you know. And he was just dead sound, you know. It's a, it's a first season for a lot of these players. There's been a lot of um, expectation on certain players. Well, Andy Carroll, yeah. I mean, he was... He was putting them away on the floor for Newcastle. You know, it wasn't just on the head. And I just feel, you know, we, you, you've got to wait till next season, really, and that thing's settled. I, you know, that's what I would say. Because obviously he was a bit injured. I'm not trying to make excuses. I don't feel he's, he's, he's the player that, we, that we, we need at the moment. Whether he can get to that is something um, to be seen in the future. But that goes for, like, Henderson. I mean, Henderson, Played a great first half against Arsenal. You know, at Wembley he was, you know, get him off. He was neither here nor there, unfortunately. And I, I don't know whether it's a complacency, you know, a little bit kind of too relaxed or something. But these are things that, that, that players will learn. There's no doubt that he's got the ability, you know. You know, that, that was a conglomerate of people. You know, Peter Hume from the farm, ex-players, other musicians and things. Um, but it just turned out, I thought I was going to sing a line or two and everyone was going to sing a line or two and all that, but I, I ended up doing the main vocals really, like, you know, and Peter comes in on the middle eight and everyone comes in the chorus, but at Wembley, just the other week, it was, uh, you know, they had, the, the Reds were on the turf and uh, it was blasting out the tannoys and the whole crowd was singing along, you know, and I'm looking down and there's Kenny with the cup. And the whole copper singing, you know, which they sing that song anyway. It's to say, I'd say it's, you know, after you'll never walk alone. It's probably the most important song, like, you know. And um, but that was a moment. So I had to kind of just go, wow, you know. But it's 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 moving anyway for what it was about, you know. 